The Asombro Institute is a local nonprofit and we're dedicated to increasing science literacy and we use the Chihuahuan Desert as our teaching tool. We use local relevant science and then we take science that's um, happening today and we transfer that into um, activities for students and one example of this is the rainout shelters at the Chihuahuan Desert Nature Park. And these rainout shelters um, were developed by a scientist at Arizona State University. His name's Osvaldo Sala. And he developed these rainout shelters to investigate the effects of climate change in the Southwest. These ones that we have installed with Dr. Sala at the nature park divert 50% of the precipitation that falls. We are having students measure the effects of that precipitation reduction on the vegetation that's underneath that structure. So as the students um, look at this problem, they say, oh, I understand there's less precipitation that's going to be falling in the southwest. This is a problem. So they can take that problem and then they look at, oh, here's a very clean experimental design. We've got this rainout shelter that's taking away part of the rain that's not hitting the soil. The, the plants are not receiving that. Then they can um, actually collect the data themselves. They do a quick analysis and then they make their own conclusions. It basically funnels off about 15% 50 of the rainwater that comes down and pulls away from the plant, like you're saying, to show the difference between a plant with regular full rainwater and a plant with half the rainwater. And even and though that uh, Las Cruces gets a lot of drought. Yeah, so in New Mexico, Las Cruces, we're not getting that much water, so take 50% away from that. This, these things are getting like three inches of water. Here. And in this, they're gaining those critical thinking skills there. They're learning how to think scientifically about a problem. It just uh, makes you wonder what happened if everything was like that. What do you think would happen if everything was like that? There'd be a lot less black There'd be a lot less animals. Yeah. Uh, Bugs, insects. Everything. everything just population would just go down. Plants. So I'm really excited to take this model of how we're working with the current local science that's really relevant to students and actually apply this to a new project. We're going to be working with the USDA Hornada to um, implement a new project with the Southwest Regional Climate Hub. We'll be developing the curriculum for the Southwest and we'll be looking at um, climate change in the region and we'll be developing some really flexible neat models that teachers and other educators throughout the southwest can use in their own classrooms or with summer camps and they'll be um, exploring different um, important key messages about climate change in this region.